but yeah, this, oh, these right here from 1901, uh, I mean, just, I mean, how neat and up and down and, I mean, perfect penmanship. It's crazy. Let me put this one back in there before it gets accidentally tore apart. Because, you know, I didn't, I wouldn't have done it on purpose, but, oh, gosh. Yep. I can tell we're going to have a little problem on these papers, so let me just fold that down so we don't have an accident. Oh, man. Okay, so that's that one. And then this one says it is 50 pieces of antique vintage papers, invoices, letters, receipts, just whatever. It's German, French, and um, Swiss watch industry. So there's, I got, I bought two packs of those. Oh. And I was trying to get into them. I'm like, man, this is some serious washi tape. Look at that. And they come in this folder but oh, look at all these look at all these things we have like this I'm guessing it's a check or something look at the look at the yummies on the back oh <coughs> excuse me we have this little thing and these colors are so pretty they're not you know too awful bright This is something in 1936. Genevieve. I know. Do it. But I'm, I'm sure it says Doit or something. I don't know. You know, however you pronounce it. But anyway, I saw do it. <laughs> Just do it. Look at that. The little handwriting. Oh. So pretty. Zenith. You know, and how paper like this survived this long is just crazy. Oh, look, it's got the little perforated stuff on there. Oh, this one's got it on there, too. Yeah. Definitely got to do some scanning on these and put them in there. They're just beautiful. And share them with y'all. Ooh, that one's, you know, definitely about to come undone. Got to get him scanned fast. Oops. Golly. I mean, I'm guessing this is onion skin paper, but wow. Excuse me. 1910. Mm. Beautiful. Ooh, this one's got graph on it. Mm. 
Yeah. I know I'm taking too much time. I can look on these on my own, huh? I know I hear you. And it looks like somebody has their crayon out there with their little red stuff. <laughs> oh. I mean, good grief. Look how far they used to go over for a, you know, to start a paragraph or a sentence instead of over what, what we, when you're in school, you learned you went over like five spaces or whatever, whatever. I don't know, but that's like way, way over there. Hmm. <laughs> Elephants. Buffalo, African, tiger, lion. What the heck? You know, this would be interesting. No, oh, it's a sculpture. Oh, well, that explains a little more. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh, you could feel the. Boy, that was a serious tension on that typewriter. Toom, toom, toom. I mean, went all the way through. <clears throat> oh. oh, look at this one. Wonder how that would scan because it's so thin. And I mean, you know, what the heck are these circles and triangles and a half moon? And, I don't know. Interesting. It's more that pretty graph paper. That's some more of that pretty graph paper. Well, it helps you write on a straight line, you know. Some more sculptures. Hey. I'm just waking y'all up. It's a bracelet. Amazing. I know. So that's one of them. I know, like I said. <clears throat> Went a little overboard on this, but they are beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is the second pack. I know, like I said, I went to open it and it was like fighting it. And that's some serious tape on there. So I thought, well, I better do it because I was going to try to save it. But I don't know. Okay, and then these are just totally different ones. Colored pencils, their crayon, and their pencil pencils. Oh, this is pretty. This is a bright color. Some real thin paper on there. Porcelain um, limogies. Pretty. Hmm. It just said 1890 something and they crossed off the 18 and made it 19. I think 07 is what it's on here. You know, why waste your paper? Oh. It'd be pretty, it's going to be interesting to see how they um, scan, you know, if, if I'm hoping it picks up these different colors around the edges of the paper.
<laughs> a two-piece revolver, Senator. A three-piece revolver, Pistoletta. Well. Interesting. Look at that. I mean, look at that itty-bitty handwriting. And then they drew some diagram of something. That's a long name. Chronograph. Wow. What the heck? In 1942, did they buy that was almost $500? Good grief. The stamp. Well done. Ooh, 18 carat rectangle angles, 14 carat. Hmm. Wow. Oops, more of that pretty graph paper. Help you write. That's some thick paper. Is that? Oh, it opens. Okay. Oh, look at that. Your little balance sheet in here. Hmm. Interesting, your note. Wow, 1902. Cool. Man, that's some thin paper. <laughs> but beautiful. But, you know, you wonder if they had that carbon paper behind there. I don't know, you know. How did it come, how did it come to be? Ooh, 15 jewels. That's my kind of that's my kind of place right there. <laughs> Even back in the day. Oh, look at this one. He's been a little tore up, but it's so pretty. Yep, like I said, definitely gotta get these scanned in before they they die all the way. Oh, this is eighteen ninety nine. Oh dear lord. Oh, so was that one. <gasps> I mean, just, and then, you know, and you never really see where people run out of ink. They just kind of know when, I guess, when it was time. See, I think of those stupid things like that. Oh, no, I run out of ink. I got to dip my, my quill back in there. Milano. Mmm. Hey, we have a brooch, an elephant brooch. Hmm. Well, I'll be darned. I mean, just look at that. How neat in itty bitty did they have like those little bitty glasses on their faces when they wrote that or did they not need glasses 
Oh, I'd love to have, you know, all the history on it because it's just interesting. So, anyway, so that is my my find from the snippet shot shop. Hello, let me write this big just in case so you can see. She's on Etsy. The two PPs snippet shop she's on Etsy her name is Eve and she's wonderful oh but that that is what they claim came didn't come but then all of a sudden ooh, we found it so that that's the, the the big main missing thing that caused the the big old ruckus in and these new people at the post office to realize I don't play their games and then this is another one from House of Ma um, Mahalo Designs. She's out of Canada. Oh, that's some... No, United Kingdom. I'm bad. UK. So, um, these are vintage envelopes. It says, vintage envelopes, some handwritten, most with stamps, junk journal, ephemeras, and, and things. So, let's see what we got from here. Because I got two items, and I'm guessing this is a thank you back here. Oh, I didn't even, this was the, I'm like, what is this? This is the thank you from um, the snippet shop. I know, it was just sitting over here. Whoops. Oh, look how pretty. She's got such a pretty card. The snippet shop looks like got some little tickets. Another piece of um, some German pa book page, and a just a blank postcard. So that's what was my thank you. Let me put this in the envelope before I lose it and forget who sent that. All right, that's that one. Okay. So these are, oh, these envelopes. Okay, come on now. <laughs> well, you know, since I'm getting stuck all over myself right now, let's just bend this down. Because oh, we're going to have that problem. So. These are just different ones from the UK. And this has. <laughs> somebody drew. Okay. So it looks like a little person. It says Burr. in a little hill. I don't know what the heck that is. He's got like an axe or something. And steam coming out. And maybe a snake. I don't know. Weird. And there's some other little things in here. Let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh. That's funny. We might just have to dump them to see what's in here. Okay. So, just like... <laughs> okay. Um, have no idea. And then why it's all chopped up. Something that I am never close to you than when I am in pr prayer, maybe? I don't know. But why that letter was all chopped up like that, who knows. But we got some killer little rooster stamps and a crazy little... And see, this looks like from the same thing because it is the same ink and everything. But who knows? <laughs> this is weird. Okay, so is there anything? I guess we'll have to look in, make sure there's nothing inside there. No, that's just a, a pretty envelope. Oh my gosh, look at that stamp. Boy, they did like the, oh, this is USA, 22 cents when it took to send it, send it, send it from, this is 1937, but still 44 cents in 1937, airmail, oh. Okay. 
So this is from from Kansas to England. And then how, you know, local. <laughs> One penny. Oh my gosh. Oh, and here we go. Some more of that pretty tissue line um, envelope. 1954 when it took four cents to mail something and a penny. 1937. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty stamp. The colors. Man, that's a thick envelope. Wow. <laughs> okay, I know. That's that little one. And then this is the other one. Ooh, this one's taped and everything. I guess she didn't want me to get in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one was a fight. Oh my gosh. Tape on top of the regular stuff. These are little envelopes. Oh. Man, that is some thick paper. 1956 on this one. Ooh, that's really pretty watermark paper. One penny. 1935. Oh my god, look at that. Can y'all see the lining in this one? Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this one. I know, after I scan them, I might have to open them up with these beautiful papers in there. Oh my gosh. Isn't that the prettiest stuff? Oh, see, someone opened this one up. Slap open. <laughs> Save now for next Christmas. <laughs> 1955. The Royal Bank of Canada. Somewhere. There we go. They opened it on this end. Hmm. 1986. I know. <laughs> anyway, it's still vintage. That was a long time ago, I guess. Oh my gosh. You just don't think it is until you sit back and realize how long ago that was. And then let you feel how old you really are. It's just wrong. Just wrong. Okay, and let's see what we got to play with. <laughs> the whole name of the game is get into the into the plastic. <laughs> to the item. Oh my gosh. Okay. just amazing okay beheaded statue <laughs> interesting all right well that's those um let me see I know since I'm already over, let me go ahead and I've got, I think, two other little shorties. Oh, gosh, I'm bending this. Because I'm trying not to get this back on itself. And it's already back on itself on the inside. <sighs> These plastic things are just vicious. All right. So that's House of Hollow. So let me just put this back in here because I got to file them in my to be scanned hole. All right, then this one, who is this? Oh, this came from 
colorful, colorful temptations. Yes. They have all kinds of stamps. And let me just write on here in large in case you're curious. Well, then, plus, I need to do it's called colorful. Temptations. They're on Etsy. Okay, so this is them. If you're looking for some stamps, reasonably priced, as you can tell. And she put them in a, um, a file folder and just stamped them on there because I was looking for some blues. Um, this is Netherlands stamps. This is Australia stamps, just different ones. It's got some you know birds and animals. This is a big old. Parisian one, Jahair. This is a little thank you with some other little stamps in here. And then these, just some um, world used ones, more world used ones, Netherlands, Australia, 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 pink and pink, some greens, orange, Sweden, and US used. Because, you know, I thought I would put some of these in some little happy mail things coming up so that's this one if you're looking for some decent little stamps I mean some stamps with their um, reasonably priced I would suggest them they were decent okay there's that one now this one was um, Art Vark. It is A R T Art V A R double K. I think this is yeah. This is on Etsy. You see it right there. Okay, so it's Art Vark. A R T V A R K K, and. I think what drew me there was this lace that they had, this vintage lace, and then they had, oops, somewhere, some animal stamps. So, I know, isn't that cute, little embossed dogs? And then these are just all different kinds of animal stamps in here, because I was trying to find some animals for some different journal things and projects that I've got that I wanted to do so I wanted some animals because a lot of stuff I have is flowers and I wanted some, some animals so that's that one and then let's see if we can get into this and this is the lace I know it says 34 yards of lace but look at that and it's, you know, kind of cream color. I thought some of them had a note that said how long they were. This, I have no idea. But that is so pretty. So we have that one. We have this one. Oops. Let me undouble that. We have that. Because, you know, I want, I've got a, a neutral one that I've got coming up that I want to do. This one says five plus yards. I don't know. But if you, you know, if you don't want it to be this little curlyish thing, if you just take your um, seam ripper and take this out, then this will come straight. So that's that one. We have some of this. Which is really pretty. I don't know how it. Well, I guess it was like that, maybe, and it just came off the cardboard. And then this that says it is somebody's nine yards. I don't think this one is. But look at that eyelet on there. Isn't that pretty? So I thought that would be pretty for a neutral one that I have coming. Up in my future so that is art bark
Yep. See, that was my bad night, May 7th, apparently. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, and then, oops. Let's see if I can do this one real quick. Well, I just had it. Oh, and this is what saved my booty, is that I got this one from, um, and for some reason, I did not throw this package, this envelope away, because that's when all this other nonsense happened. And they tried to, because I actually went and signed for this one, and they tried telling me, oh, you came in here and signed. I said, oh, no, no, no. I brought my, I brought all my stuff that had that on there, because I just knew, I just had this feeling that they were going to play that game. And sure enough, game played. So... But like I said, something told me, no, don't throw that away. And I brought it in there. And yeah. Okay, where's my little thing? Okay, this is from the old cotton reel. The old cotton reel. R-E-E-L. Okay, the old cotton reel. I know I printed this on my 32-pound paper. Oh my gosh. But I had to go through and make sure I got everything. So this is just a pack of 20-piece um, envelopes and tags that she had. And so I was just curious as to what her thing was. And let me see. Yeah. No free shipping on here, depending on your amount. But the, um, the Snippet Shop does. If you spend over $110, it's free shipping from... Switzerland but these are just all little kinds of little envelopes that she made like this is with Edith Holden paper some scraps and stuff so I just kind of wanted to see you know what other people were kind of doing and offering that's from the your creative studio but you know I just kind of had to see so I saw it so that's that one but I do like the idea of using, you know, your book up. This is some butterfly stamps. I know. I just needed some with butterflies on there. Oops. Um, this is her... I think... No, this one's not... Oh. Oops, there's that. Okay, this is her little thank you thing, which, you know, she did give one heck of a thank you thing. So these are just... <clears throat> I did write on here. <clears throat> Ten pieces. Sorry, I got a frog. <clears throat> Ten pieces of little flower. Nice thick paper. <clears throat> Good grief. And then I like how she used an you know a little book um, just for her belly bands to tie them up. These are old. Well, shoot. Let's see. Well, these are old um, prescription prescription labels. And then there's two other ones in here. A little aspirin and vegetable laxative tablets. <laughs> Sorry. It's kind of funny. Anyway, um, we have that. And these are, I believe, birds. Yes, just different stamps of different birds. Because like I said, I just wanted some butterflies and birds. These are wine labels. I got two sets of them, so I have two of everything in here. Because anyway, but I just thought those would be pretty to go on a um, journal card to put in there. And like I said... She uses, you know, books and stuff for her belly bands, which I think is cute. Then this is some um, telegraph. So they had 15 words. What did they charge you for those 15 words? No telling. So... We only got four pages of that. But it's different. 
I mean, it's something I don't have, and I, you know, like to scan it, like I said, and have it so I can play with them for forever. And I love the natural color on there. And then these are some um, bus tickets. London. And then these are some old envelopes. Let's see if I can get in here real quick. <clears throat> From 1927, Pembrokeshire, South Wales, 1929. I know this is so thick, but that's just the, I mean, man, it's amazing <clears throat> how thick that, that's like a file folder thickness. And that they were able to get these little itty bitty envelopes there with no problem. Man, I'm telling you, this is, this is some thick paper. <laughs> Uh, e. Schuler Esquire Executive Films Limited Woo. and how can you even read anything by the time they stamped all over the place but that's that and like I said you know I guess if you have a, a new book that you can't do anything with Make belly bands for cool merchandise. And then these are some bird pages. Nice thick paper. Look how pretty the birds are. You know, and I don't believe it's anything, you know, because it doesn't have book page. Well, this is 88. It doesn't tell you. I can't tell. Okay, like this. This is some kind of owl. Oh, well, this says some kind of owl on there. I don't know, because I can't tell if it's the... You know, I'm thinking if it was in a book like this, when they tore them out. I don't, you know, because I can't tell if... Well, that's a woodpecker. I don't know. Maybe I have to go look up these bird names and see if this is actual the, the actual... Because that is a pheasant. <laughs> but I don't know if it's the correct one, you know? A wood pigeon hmm. but a crested tit <laughs> oh okay I behave not I'm gonna run out of time I'm gonna go over I'm gonna be in so much trouble because I didn't reset my thing okay these are some um, cheese labels I got two packs of those so I got you know two of each thing but aren't they pretty And these are some vintage um, antique flower labels, pack of 10. But they're definitely bright and shiny. I don't know why I was thinking they were going to be dull. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. And then we have some some flowers, different flowers, and then these are um, are there some these are some more of the the same prescription label bottle label things. And these are um, bus tickets, just assorted kinds of little small ones I know and then as you can tell there's more there's some longer ones in there and some shorter ones but I want to pull them out because I, I know I am getting really close I'm probably over but oh, they'll just have to spank me okay and then we have some um, bank things from the banks. I think there's five pieces in here. It looks like six. Some deposits and some credits. All right. Oh, good. 
good grief. And little girl barking. These are some old, I don't even know what the heck these are. I don't know. Old vouchers, like cigarette vouchers. So I just thought those were pretty. Oh, there were 25 pieces in here. I know some things I wrote on, some, some I didn't. I need to write on all of them so I know, <laughs> so I can figure out. And then this is just 50 sheets of antique vintage um, paper. And there's just... Looks like some um, King Arthur. Some... I don't know. Nitric, um, nitric acid, oxide, some chemistry book. Sodium compounds, some um, dictionary, some definition type stuff, some Bible things. Well, this one's the Song of Solomon, and some some about preacher and stuff. And then this is some the Edwardians. Nice thick paper. This is some cooking and catering. It's just a you know assortment of different kinds of papers. Some English dictionary, some medical dictionary, business of the home, doctor's prescription, just I guess a book, Lady Ingleberry's house party, Old Testament studies. This is some some thick paper. Um some big dictionary and some music Tina Marie Sonata 1894 copyright unknown um, I'm guessing this is part of this no it's not it's a different number but definitely a, a you know a mix and variety of different kinds of books and stuff. It's really pretty. All right. And then, I just got to put these all back in here before I, they go missing. Okay. So there's that. And then, like I said, this is her little um, thank you for ordering from her Etsy shop. Just some goodies. So she sent some um, long tickets. Cod liver tag, some um, other tickets. Day travel cards, some little information. Oh, an old postcard. For inland communication only. <laughs> Oh, oh! Look at this little butterfly envelope. That's pretty. Some little envelopes. That's 1976, 74, 79. An old postcard, and then some. Another set of cheese wrappers. So, yeah. All right. Okay, guys. Well, there you go. Just wanted to show you some of the, the Etsy shares that I've, that I've managed to get and collect um, from one of my <laughs> sleep shop night things. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, um, and just share them with you guys. And like I said, I'm going to make up some special little things and um, do some sharing. All right, so I will see y'all on the next video now that I at least got these out of the way and I will list all these little shops on my on the thing. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me. I know this took away forever, but I got a bunch of them in there and I will see you on the next video. Lots of kisses, lots of love, and I'll see y'all later. Bye guys.